Welcome to another episode of Low Carb Cocktails. I'm Frank, and if you haven't figured it out, I'm the Low Carb Cocktail Guy. Today's video is gonna be a lot of stuff going on, so I'll have some timestamps below in the description if you wanna kinda of pick and choose what you wanna see. But today we're doing five summertime cocktails, and they're all gonna be low carb. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one up is the classic margarita. Now the margarita, like most classic cocktails, kinda got a little bit of a blurred history. Some say, some walked in the bar, said I'm allergic to everything but tequila, make me something. Guy made something, she said, this is yummy, what is it? He goes, what's your name? She goes, it's margarita. He goes, it's a margarita. There's another one that some lady from Texas went to Mexico and she, it was her recipe and she had the bartender make it and her name was Margarita. So you see a pattern here with everyone claiming it to be someone's name, but more likely that um, Margarita is Spanish for the word Daisy and Daisy is a type of cocktail, usually a spirit, um, a sweetener and a citrus. <laughs> Look at that, that's what's in a Margarita. So. Honestly, more than likely, the history of a margarita is someone went to Mexico and said, I'll have a daisy, which at the time was really kind of made with brandy or, or whiskey, and they went, we don't have that. And they go, what you got? And he goes, well, we got tequila. He goes, oh, make me a daisy with some tequila. And the guy goes, okay. And Spanish for daisy is a uh, margarita. We're gonna call it margarita. Now, that's more than likely what the history really is, but uh, check it out on your own. So let's get started. In your small tin, we're gonna be adding two ounces of a Blanco tequila. Reposado's good. I like Reposado personally. Uh, my wife likes the Blanco. A little more fruity notes on it than you do get on a Reposado. So two ounces of a white silver Blanco. Got a lot of names to it. But the one thing you wanna make sure that it's just 100% de agave, 100% blue agave. You just wanna see the numbers 100% in the word agave on your bottle. That's the most important thing. So next we can go with one ounce of lime juice. And I'm using my oleo citrate lime. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link for that below. But this now has zero carbs. It's lime juice with zero carbs. Check out my video on how to make your own lime juice without lime juice and have it be zero carbs. One ounce of our lime oleo citrate and one ounce of our orange liqueur, our low carb orange liqueur. If you haven't made this, I'm dropping shit already. If you haven't made this yet, it's just a little time consuming because you gotta let it sit for like a week or so. Uh, but if you don't wanna do that, a quick easy tip would be to take one ounce of a simple syrup into a quarter teaspoon of orange extract. You'll get the same flavor profile. So, but we're, since I have my orange liqueur, we're gonna be adding one ounce of my orange liqueur. And that's it, that's all that's in the classic margarita. No agave syrup, no uh, uh, simple syrup, it's just lime juice, tequila, orange liqueur, that's it. And our large tin, we're gonna get some ice, put that all together, give it a good shake. Now, in your margarita glass, rocks glass, whatever you choose to put it in, we're gonna take a lime wedge, and we're gonna go around the edge of the glass. That's if you want your margarita salted. If not, skip this part. My wife skips this part. She hates salt on a margarita. But from here, you'll take a little saucer with some kosher salt. And I go around the outside of the glass. Now, I've seen people dip it in and swirl it around and all that stuff. You can do that, that's not a big deal. Um, it'll work, but you end up getting salt inside your glass and that's kind of not cool. We're gonna add some fresh ice to our glass. Pour that in. Finish with that lime wedge you have as your garnish. And there you have the classic, super easy, super simple margarita. The next summertime cocktail really is one of my favorites, and that's the classic daiquiri. Now, I live here in South Louisiana, and if you haven't been here, you can drive basically anywhere you're going and roll up to a daiquiri shop and go through the drive-thru and get yourself a daiquiri at the drive-thru in your car, and it's legal. So, <laughs> yeah, but uh, 
That's not a real daiquiri. Those are what I call grown up slushies. Uh, some booze and some fruity sweety stuff blended up in the machine. Comes out like a slushy. So, but a classic daiquiri is simple. It's rum, lime juice, and um, sweetener. So the story goes, some American dude named Jen and Cox went to Cuba, had a big old party, and he had like his little alcoholic punch he was serving everybody. He went, oh, this is really good. And they started drinking it all up. And he went, hey, we're out. I need to make more. And the guy's like, well, what's in it? He goes, gin. He goes, we're in Cuba. We don't have gin. And I was like, well, what do you have? He goes, oh, we got rum. So he replaced the gin with rum and called it daiquiri because like he was living somewhere in Cuba or worked in Cuba so around a little town called Daiquiri, so hence the name Daiquiri came about. Anyway, let's make the yummy cocktail. So in your small tin, we're gonna start off with some nice white rum. Two ounces of your favorite white rum. Three quarter ounce of our lime juice. Now this is my lime oleocitrate. Please go watch my video. Learn how to make zero carb lime juice. It's actually super easy and fairly cheap. So we're gonna go with one ounce. So I'm sorry, whoops, said it again. Three quarter ounce of our lime oleocitrate or zero carb lime juice. Next we're gonna go with our simple syrup. And um, I do wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, RX Sugar. Sugar Reimagine is, is their, their catchphrase. The world's best plant-based non-GMO project certified keto verified uh, sweetener. It's just damn tasty and it has zero net carbs. That's why I use it and I'm really proud to have them a sponsor of this video. Oh, there'll be a link below in the description where you can pick up uh, some RX Sugar for yourself with a little discount code. So we're gonna do three quarters ounce of our allulose simple syrup. So all I'm really doing is dialing down the sweetener uh, on the simple syrup and the lime juice by a quarter ounce each to really let this rum stand out and really play a nice little part in this cocktail. In a large tin, we'll add some ice, put all this together, and give it a good shake. In a coupe glass, we're going to double strain this because you'll have some ice chips that broke up during your shake. And for just a nice presentation, you want a nice clean cocktail with nothing in it, this will be served up. And I like to garnish this with a little bit of a lime wheel. And there is my favorite drink on the planet, the classic daiquiri. Yeah, we're going in for a taste of this. Oh my God. Oh my God. With this um, sugar fields rum and dropping those ratios down to uh, three quarter, three quarter and two of the rum is absolutely perfect. Absolutely, oh, I'm, stuff's falling. So, geez. cheers, I forgot to do that, cheers. Man, oh my God, that's a, such a delicious drink. Such a delicious drink. Nice, crisp, light, perfect for the summertime. Let's get moving on to the next one. I'm pretty sure this next cocktail is the quintessential summertime cocktail. And it's the mojito, the keto mojito, as some would say. So let's go ahead and get started. In the tall glass, you're gonna take 10 to 12 mint leaves. Now, with your mint leaves, what you wanna do is after you pull them off of the stem, put them in your pan, get them all together, and give it a good whack. What that does, that opens up the aromas, that breaks some of the cells in the leaves, and that's where that minty, minty fresh comes from. Um, put that in your glass, get that all to the bottom. Then we're gonna add, there's a couple ways to do it. You can add a simple syrup, you can add a, a sugar. Well, we're gonna be adding our RX sugar. We're gonna add two bar spoons, which is gonna be about a half teaspoon, on my spoon at least. There we go. Now we're gonna muddle your mint and your sugar. The reason we want that allulose in there, that gran those granules are gonna start cutting into the leaves as you muddle, but we're gonna do it very gently. If you're too rough with that and you start breaking apart the stem, you're gonna introduce chlorophyll. Yes, I didn't say chloroform that time. Chlorophyll, and that's gonna, start, 
and that's gonna make your drink a little bit bitter. So you just kinda wanna press down, give it a little bit of twist as you do it. Nothing harsh, nothing aggressive. Just make sure you're getting all of it in there. The one thing I would say is, they got a lot of muddlers out there. The ones that little spikes on the bottom, don't use that. That's really gonna just start destroying the mint. And just press it down a little bit gently. Like I said, gently. You can use a bar spoon for this even. Nothing harsh, not a lot of pressure. And that smells amazing on its own. So, just put that aside. And next, we add our shaker. We're gonna add two ounces of a light rum. Cuban rum would be best. Um, that's kind of like about sugar fields, is it's that little light, crisp uh, Cuban style rum. We're gonna add two ounces of this. And we're gonna add three ounces of lime juice. Whenever you're incorporating a citrus into a spirit, you always wanna shake it. That's why we're doing it this way, because you'll see some people build the whole thing in the glass. Um, I personally don't think that it incorporates all the flavors the correct way. And then we're gonna add back to our oleo citrate. We're gonna add three quarter ounce of this. And while we're doing that, we wanna add some ice into this as well. Put all this together. Give it a good shake. Now we're gonna strain that into our glass. Take your bar spoon. So I'll try to pick some of that mint up. And next we're gonna to top that with a little bit of soda water. I'm going with the Topo Chico. Not a fan of soda water, really not a fan of mineral water. But man, I had some Topo Chico, and finally, and man, this is so, so good. The effervescence really changed this about how, the, how many bubbles there are, really, really changes the flavor of this whole thing. There we go. Now that mint's incorporating. Now we'll get a sprig of mint for a garnish. And the same thing like I said before, you wanna go ahead and give it a good clap. Then pop it on your palm. Even better yet, slap it around your glass, the edge of the glass. We're gonna drop that in. Nice, beautiful, beautiful garnish. And you can add a lime wedge as well. And of course, you gotta get a Surfside Sip Straw. Save a baby sea turtle, you know, use glass straws. Perfect, absolutely perfect. I find that if you, when you're using simple syrup, it does make it a little bit sweeter. And that's why I like doing it this way. So if you want it a little sweeter than this, go ahead and um, add a half ounce of simple syrup instead of using the granulated allulose itself. Light, crisp, refreshing, like I said with the daiquiri, but bubbly and fun. So all right, so that is, that is the Keto Mojito. Let's move on to the next. So the next cocktail is the Texas Ranch Water. What better cocktail to refresh you during a hot summertime than water in ranch water or Texas Ranch Water. That's what the Cowboys used apparently. This cocktail dates back to the 1920s-ish, is I can find it far back as, as references to this kind of concoction being put together. Uh, it is really simple. It's three ingredients. Lime juice, tequila, sparkling water. Kind of like a margarita, but bubbly and no orange. So this is super simple. We're gonna build this in the glass. In a pint glass or a tall Collins glass. Um, I use mine in my last drink, so I'm using a pint glass now. We're gonna fill this bad boy up with ice. Now we're gonna add three ounces of a Blanco tequila. You could use Reposado, but then it wouldn't be clear like water. And it's a Texas Ranch water. So we're gonna go with three ounces. Mm. 
one and a half ounces of lime juice. And top with Topo Chico. And not any sparkling water. Topo Chico specifically. It's got more bubbles in the effervescence. Effervescence, effervescence, fescence, fescence. It's bubbly. It's really, really bubbly and it makes the drink really, really good. So we're gonna top that with Topo Chico. That's it. That's all it is. We're gonna stir that up a little bit. That's awesome. That's awesome. You can squeeze a little want lime in it for a little bit of extraness and a little bit of color on the garnish. Throw it on top like that. Hand that to your buddies. That's, that's freaking amazing. It's better than that ranch water crap you get in the can. And it's just how easy it was. You just do this and this and this, and then you do this and then you're done. Then you're done, you have Texas ranch water. This was made, um, like I said, earliest dates is West Texas um, in the 1920s, 30s. Um, some people say it was made at a place called the Ice House out in West Texas. But everybody agrees it was in West Texas and it wasn't recent. So, Texas ranch water. Cool y'all for the hot summer's day. Even in Louisiana. All right, let's make a fancy vodka crayon. So, did you know the vodka cranberry actually has a name to it? It's called the Cape Cotter. It was created by, of all people, Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice. It was created in the 1940s, and they called it originally the Red Devil. It was created in Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and eventually changed the name to Cape Cotter. So, um, yeah, next time you go to a bar, ask for a Cape Cotter. Watch the bartender freak out because he doesn't know what it is. And then when he realizes it's a vodka crayon, he's going to call you an idiot. You should have just ordered a vodka crayon. So, but we're going to dress that up a little bit with one extra ingredient for our final summer cocktail. Super refreshing. Uh, it, it's perfect by poolside. It, it's just a yummy drink. So let's go ahead and get started. So in our small tin, we're going to add two ounces of vodka. Any vodka will do. I'm using Sugarfields. It is a sugarcane based vodka. So it's got a little bit of a sweet note on it and that's kind of cool. I'm gonna add some Ocean Spray Diet Cranberry Juice. We're gonna do three ounces of this. So there's your vodka crayon. Let's dress it up a little bit. We're gonna add one ounce of Simply Light Orange Juice. I think I just realized, I don't know, five drinks into it, I may have said it, I don't know. The name of this drink is called a Madras if I didn't say it already. So in our big tin, we're gonna add some ice. And while we have the ice open, we're gonna add some ice to our rocks glass. We're gonna put all this together. Give it a good shake. We're gonna strain all that into our fresh ice on our rocks. You can garnish, garnish, garnish. You can garnish a couple different ways. A dehydrated orange wheel on top of our drink. And I know how good these are. Man, that orange juice, just one ounce. One ounce of orange juice is all it is. Really, really changes the complexity of your vodka crayon into something that should be called the madras. Madras is just a piece of fabric that's kind of plaid and light colors. Kind of like the drink. Ah. I mean, that's absolutely delicious. Thank y'all for watching. I, I hope you enjoyed this video of five Easy summertime cocktails. I know it's a long video, but I, 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 
I like throwing in a little bit of knowledge about each drink and where they came from and where they started. I appreciate you watching. I hope you learned something today. If you like my videos, do all the things YouTubers tell you to do. Give me a thumbs up, like the video, of course, share the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, then you, that'd be cool. Subscribe, that'd be really cool if you could do that. Also, if you'd like to support me a little bit further, I do have a Patreon. You can uh, subscribe to my Patreon. I have several different tiers. I'm coming out with some more uh, more perks uh, for some of my, uh, my members. So check out all my links below. That'll tell you everything that I'm doing. Um, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day. Cause after drink number five, <laughs> I'm having a great day. See y'all later.